Hi, my name is Bardo Krishna and welcome to BK Engineering and this is a practice exercise series for the software Fusion 360. Welcome to the new episode of Welcome to the new episode of Fusion 360. Today we're going to try out exercise 14. This looks pretty simple. Uh, looks like a bunch of Lego boxes. The only thing is there is a surface thickness which is I think it's uh, 4.5 and there is outside surroundings. There are actually multiple ways of doing it. Uh, let's try it out. I'm gonna try two different ways. This is gonna be an interesting one. Let's try it out. I know it's, uh, I think they have done it for a purpose. I'll, I'll show you two different ways of doing it. Let's do the basic way first. I'm gonna do the outline first. Let's see. Uh, let's open up the software. Start sketching it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this as center, so 150. So let's do this. Let's make a line and then make this as 150, okay? And then I'm gonna coincident this with origin and also make this midpoint with origin and this is fully constrained and everything is 30, 45, 30. So I'm gonna do one side and it's just gonna I'm gonna mirror it. Let's do it. So this is 30. So let's try 30. I'm just gonna do the 30. I'm gonna go left by 30. And then go above by 45. I don't know if you guys know AutoCAD. AutoCAD and AutoCAD files are pretty easy this way to you can just give coordinate axis and then again it's 30 and then above is again 30 and then just gonna uh, just gonna I'm gonna do this I'm gonna create a center line And I'm gonna fix the center line on the origin. Alright, so this is good. What I'm gonna do is create create a mirror. Objects to mirror of this. Okay, so this is a mirror. Now this is done. What I do next is basically at 4.5, I need an offset. Now for that, what are we gonna do is we're gonna create an offset. Create Set, set it go so basically it's not selecting at 4.5 set is inset boom that's it that's easy now the next thing is the outer surface is extruded at 15 so what I'm gonna do is finish the sketch Extrude it by one side 15, and then inner surface is basically 4.5. Basically, the thickness of the wall is 4.5. What I'm going to do is show the sketch. I'm going to click extrude, and I'm going to select the outside. What did I do? It's not cut, it's joint. Make a feature. Something. Okay, I made a mistake. Nope. This, this, this will work. Yep, that's the one easy way of doing it. So if you see this is the one there is another way of doing it how is that possible let's see let's delete this and let's delete this one as well what i'm gonna do is i don't want an offset as well 
to be honest, I don't want this as well. I just want the outer surface. I'm gonna trim away all these points. Trust me, this is gonna be fun. All right. Okay, so now I have finished the sketch. I'm gonna do a different sketch. And basically I want the sketch on this plane. I'm gonna do a small rectangle. So and with this is 4.5. Thickness, thickness, and it's also open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say finish sketch. So the next thing is I'm going to do a sweep. I'm going to do path is basically this and then profile is basically the rectangle that we have created. Oh shit, okay. Uh, we need to select this path as well. Boom. So we have created an outside surface. Click OK. So the next thing is we're going to fill up this part. For that, what are you going to do? Extrude this part and this part at 4.5. It's not cut, it's joined. Okay, I made a small mistake. What did I do? So the height is 15. So basically, this sketch I need to do as 15. Finish the sketch. Alright, so here you go. This is the second method. I used a sweep feature to do the surroundings and then just build up the insights. See you on the next episode where we wanna do. All right, this looks like Beyblade from one angle. All right, let's try this out in the next episode. Until then, see ya. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have more Fusion 360 exercises in the playlist. If you want to learn any courses, please give us a call to this number or visit our website.